Okay, I am one. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to uh, take the graph of an exponential function and write the equation uh, given different pieces of information. Uh, this is an optional video. If you understand how to do this, you don't need to watch it. And uh, I'm going to just demonstrate how to solve uh, maybe all of A, B, C, and D from question 66, I think this is, in your CPM book in chapter 8. You can watch part of it, all of it, none of it, your choice. So, this all starts from up here we have the standard equation for an exponential function, y equals a b to the x, again where a is our starting value, which also is the y-intercept, which will be handy, and then b is our uh, multiplier, or the, the ratio between uh, 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 terms in the, in the sequence. And then x, of course, is going to be um, the exponent for each, uh, uh, representing the input. OK, so starting with a, um, you can tell by reading from the graph that the starting value is right here of 5. So we know that it's going to be y equals 5. And then the tricky part always, I guess, is going to be to find the multiplier. So in this case, you see that it goes up 2 from one point to the next. So obviously that tells you that this is the point 1, 7. And here we have the point 0, 5. And so if you were to look at this as on a table of x and y, you would have 0, 5, you'd have 1, 7, and you'd say, what is the ratio between... 7 and 5, so 7 over 5 equals 1.4, I believe. You can check my math on that. So that means that each point is going to be 1.4 times bigger than the one uh, before, assuming, of course, that this is growing exponentially, which is what we're assuming. So that's going to be our multiplier to the x power. Okay, moving on to b. All right, so this is an exponential decrease. So uh, this is a question that you can all shout the answer to out loud in your rooms while you watch this video. If you know that the function's decreasing, then what do you know about the multiplier? Hopefully you all said, well, it's less than one. So here we go. y equals a b to the x. We see that the uh, y-intercept is 40, so we know it's going to be 40 times, and then b, the one thing you want to be careful on is just to make sure that uh, there's only one unit between them in the x direction. So that looks to be true here. So we have negative 1, 120, and 0, 40. And so the ratio here is going to be 40 over 120, which is 1 over 3. So that means that each point is uh, one third of the one before. So that's our multiplier. So we have 1 third to the x power. Uh, again, if you're getting the hang of this, you can stop the video anytime you want. If you love to watch me solve math problems, you can keep going. All right, this next one is interesting because it's flat. So that actually means there's no growth here. So um, so we have y equals uh, the starting value. It looks like it's 18. And now the tricky part will be figuring out b. So here we have 0, 18. And then we have 5, 18. And so the ratio is 18 over 18, which is equal to 1. So if we were to write this in exponential form, which is a little bit silly, but that's our project here, we would say to the uh, 18 times 1 to the x power. Or in other words, we're going to continually multiply it by 1 uh, over and over and over again, which is to say it never changes value. Um, just as a side note, this would simplify to be y equals 18, which is the horizontal line that goes through 18. And finally, uh, moving on to d. Uh, as I said before, this gets a little bit trickier because um, we don't know the... Um, 
we have a few steps in between here. So we have value of one and two that we aren't given. So we do know the y-intercept, and that's the starting value of seven, b to the x. And so we have to figure out b. We have our known value of zero, seven. We don't know one, we don't know two. You know three and you get uh, three is to uh, 56. So just looking at this, it looks to me like uh, you would be multiplying by two each time. So if this was times two, you get 14. If this was times two, you get 28. And then of course you get to 56. So the ratio is two. So we get y equals seven times two to the x power. End of tutorial. Hit me up if you have any questions.